It is day number two of me not using any skincare and long story short, I'm dying. Aloha everyone and welcome to Skincare with Hiram. If you don't know who I am, my name's Hiram and I'm passionate about teaching you how to perfect your skincare routine. So make sure you subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell so that you can see my videos every single week. Oh, I am not ready for this video. This is a video that I have been dreading for so long. I am going to go a week, seven whole days without using any skincare. Let me clarify for you. I am a skincare specialist. Skincare is my job. My main focus is helping aid people resolve certain problems that they face within their skin. And in addition to that, I also have this YouTube channel where I talk about skincare constantly. Basically to sum it all up, Skincare is my fucking life, okay? This shit's serious. So what does an irrelevant YouTuber do when he's looking for new content ideas and is desperate for views? He doesn't use skincare for a week, obviously. Being that I am a specialist, this is going to be so difficult for me because I am constantly in a cycle of using skincare products. I have my daytime routine, I have my nighttime routine. In total, every single day, I use about mm, 12 products. And I will usually experiment with new skincare every single week. So this is a big switch up for me. Basically what's going to happen is over the next seven days, I am not going to use any types of skincare products except for sunscreen. And I know you may be saying, Hiram, that's skincare. Let me explain, bitch. Each part of skincare routine is very important, but you can definitely live without moisturizing, cleansing, exfoliating, treatments, serums, retinols, all that kinds of stuff. But there is one type of skincare ingredient that is absolutely necessary in prevention against cancer, prevention against long-term aging, cell death, and extreme cell damage. And that is sunscreen. Yes, the sun is not our friend when it comes to skin. 90% of of premature aging in our skin is a direct cause of sun exposure. In addition to that, I live in Hawaii where the sun is extremely strong. If I had a dollar for every person that visited from California and decided not to use that much sunscreen when they went out to the beach because they say, I'm from California, bro. I don't need that sunscreen stuff. My skin is already used to the sun. And then two hours later, they come back and they are roasted like Peppa Pig. Oh my God, I just meant like how pink she is. I don't actually mean like a roasted pig. That, that got really dark. Wow. The Hawaii sun is harsh. And being that it is the hottest time of the year right now, I am not f But besides sunscreen, I am not going to be using any of my skincare products. It may look like I have good skin, but I promise, when I don't use skincare, my skin is a mess. Flashback to high school me when I had deep set forehead wrinkles and acne and pimples all over my face. But we're just gonna try to forget that and just let that remain in the past, hidden in the Facebook memories that keep popping up on my feed when I never asked for them in the first place. All right, are you guys ready for this? Because I'm sure as hell not. Cha-cha. Hi guys, I just got back from work. I am sweaty and exhausted, but here I am. And you may be asking, Hiram, why is this a day two update instead of a day one update? Because I'm a lazy and insecure little shit who when he tries to do vlog style videos and looks at them afterwards, he ends up deleting all of them because of how terrible he looks. So here I am with the tripod set up right in front of me. Anyway, moving on. Yes, it is day number two of me not using any skincare and long story short, I'm dying. It's fucking awful, I hate this shit. To think that I went 18 years of my life without using any skincare whatsoever and now I can't even go two days without going crazy is kind of pathetic, but here we are. So yeah, I'm noticing right away that my skin is feeling very dead skin cell-y. Just like there's so many layers of just grossness and gunk on my face, especially because in Hawaii, it's so humid here and I sweat so much like an absolute dog. Not that there's anything wrong with that, I love dogs. And I can feel it as I rub my fingers across my face in the shower while I try to somehow cleanse my skin using only water. It's not a fun journey, let me just tell you that. I'm actually really concerned. Well, not concerned because, you know, it's just a week. But I am worried that I'm going to start breaking out because I have noticed some what is beginning to look like pimples on my face. And I think that might be because of the sunscreen that I'm continually piling on my face not being able to be taken off by a cleanser. The shit I do for YouTube, I swear to God. But nonetheless, I will push through. I know I can make it, I think. Actually, I don't know if I can make it. I'm probably gonna give up by day five, but we'll see. And being that I am at cosmetic stores for my job, I'm low-key kind of scared that I'm gonna run into one of you guys because that's been happening a lot lately. Not that I'm complaining at all. I absolutely love meeting you guys. Because you guys will see my skin, you'll be like, oh. Does this skin look so nasty? And I'll be like, bitch, I swear, this isn't what it usually looks like. Anyway, I'm getting ready to go into Waikiki with a few of my friends just to go drinking and partying tonight. And I know what you may be thinking, Hiram, you have friends? Anyway, I don't know how to do these touch bases. I'm not used to this. I'm usually in my studio, but whatever. I will see you guys in the next update.
It is almost midnight. Um, it is day four. It is the end of day four. I can literally feel the layers of sunscreen just piling up on my face. I think I'm on like, what, 20 layers now? That being said, I am surprised that my skin is holding up as well as it is because I for sure thought by now that I was going to have breakouts all over my face because that's what I used to struggle with all the time when I didn't use any skincare in high school. <laughs> Proud. Up close, it's a disaster. Literally across my like entire chin area and my nose area, you just see all these white oil glands sticking up out of the surface of the skin. Wow, Hiram, that is such a great and detailed description. That should be like your Tinder bio. Overall, I'm just tired. <laughs> I miss skincare so much. I'm surrounded by it all the time and I can't use any of it because I can't use anything on my face. To go like this long without using anything is like against my nature. Anyway, this is the ultimatum of first world problems. I literally have absolutely nothing to be complaining about. We'll see if I can make it through. I am not convinced. I don't know if that's going to happen. Oh, by the way, and I also just hit 42,000 subscribers. If you want to see the gem that I posted on my Instagram story, bitch, you are too late. That was like a week ago. So if you don't want to miss out on more of those little gems, go and follow me on my Instagram page. You will see many uh, embarrassing and humiliating moments that you can screenshot and hold against me five years from now. You're welcome. Anyways, I'm gonna head to bed. I am really tired. I have like some filming to do in the morning. I'm gonna be editing because thank God I am off tomorrow. So I get to just work on YouTube all day. Yeah, it's gonna be fun. But overall, my skin is holding up somehow by the grace of God. It's holding up and I haven't just completely broken out all over my face. However, I am seeing my sebaceous glands filling up everywhere and fine lines starting to develop and it's not fun. I cannot wait until the moment where I can just go in with a strong exfoliating mask and just bulldoze this shit off my face. Ah, <sighs> that'll be great. Anyways, good night guys. <sighs> Hi guys. It is 10 o'clock at night of the fifth day of not using any skincare. And you may be wondering why I'm looking a little extra red and why my nose looks the way it is. And it is because I am proud to say that I used a cleanser. Hallelujah. Yes, it's true. I gave up on my pact to go a week using no skincare and I couldn't feel better. <sighs> I know I didn't make it through the seven days, but honestly guys, I could just not take it anymore. I was going insane. But there's also a few other reasons why I decided to not continue with this and I'm going to tell you about them. I'm also going to go over pictures I took up close of my skin showing all the damage that I experienced over the last week so that you guys can see exactly what I was talking about when I was saying that my skin looks disgusting and why I decided to stop. So I'm going to be using the Glow Glycolic Boost Face Mask. I got these because I am going to be doing a video about Pixie skincare coming very soon. Sneak peek if you aren't already aware, um, this is about to be one of my most shady brand reviews overall so stay tuned for that Pixie review because whew, it's going to be a doozy, but I do have faith in these. This is an exfoliating mask, so it's really gonna bulldoze through all the dead skin, dirt, and oil that my skin has accumulated over the last five days, which is something I desperately need. So we can just restart, press the refresh button, and just forget everything that happened. Ooh, she juicy. Oh Lord, oh, okay, I see it now. This shit's confusing as hell, my goodness. I swear, I will never be good at these. I just realized I'm gonna have to like, try to not talk as much as possible. No, I'm just gonna power through this. Not looking too shabby. All right, so back to the topic. There's a few main reasons why I decided to not go through with my seven days of not using skincare. The first being because I was going fucking crazy. I just couldn't handle not using skincare for that long and it just felt like I was abusing my skin. And that's something I am not comfortable with doing. No, sir. Not on this channel. But there's a lot more to it than that because honestly, I would have powered through for this video. But over the past week, I have been getting more boxes in the mail of brands that I need to review for upcoming videos of different products, product sponsorships. And as I was seeing the pile get bigger and bigger, I realized to myself, Hiram, you are not going to have time to try out these products before you need to film videos. It's basically like I took a week off from working, except instead of just piecing out with your vacation time, that work is accumulating over the course of seven days, it's piling up and you have no idea how you're gonna take care of it once you get back to it. Except your work is just in front of your face in your room. Um, Hiram, who told you that you are okay to take a seven day break from working? That is not okay. When did anyone say that was okay? And in addition to that, I was starting to notice signs of more significant damage on my skin, which I was not comfortable with. I told you guys a little bit before that I was starting to see fine lines on my skin and I am very much aware that if I go even just a short period 
bit of time without using pretty strong ingredients to resolve problems that I have faced within my skin for a while, I will start to see negative damage. And in addition to the fine lines, I was also starting to see dark spots accentuating themselves on my face as well as post acne marks that would not go away and were getting continually worse with sun exposure. I do have a pretty good skincare system set up to where I'm able to get rid of a lot of problems that I have faced within my skin for years and years. Did I break out with acne all over my face? No, I thank God, thank the Lord above. But I do have this major fear of something I call aging. Because like it or not, I am white as fuck and white people age like none other. And my goal is not to look like a retired 60 year old when I turn 25. Can we make that happen, please? And even just a week without preventative skincare showed me that I am well on my way to aging way past my age. Hiram is not okay with that. It's just a little bit too much. And with that, I'm going to open up my laptop and show you guys some of the pictures that I took of the damage and just the grossness and all the icky sticky that I saw on my face from going five days with no skincare. So if you are easily triggered by like pores and whiteheads and oil and all that kind of stuff, then I highly suggest you click off. Actually don't click off, just skip forward to when um, I placed an ad in the video, that way I can still make money. No, I'm just kidding. Do whatever you want. But yeah, let's get into it. All right, let's open these pictures, shall we? So let's first talk about the chin area, a place where I develop a lot of oil and sebum production throughout the day. Production? production throughout the day. If you look up close, you can see tons and tons of sebaceous filaments on my skin. Now, if you don't know what a sebaceous filament is, you know those really satisfying videos where you see like someone with a hook and they pull out like a whole thing of like oil from someone's pore? That is a sebaceous filament. That is not a whitehead. A whitehead needs to be trapped within the surface of the skin. If you want to see a whitehead, that is a whitehead. <laughs> I'm just fortunate enough to have both on my face. Lucky me, bitch. And you best bet that over the course of the last five days, I was taking my pore extractor tool and just going ham. And as satisfying as this was, it was just too much because I obviously don't have time to clean out every single pore on my face. That's not a possibility. Luckily, none of them stayed super long and turned into a pimple. Thank God. I don't know how. Ugh, this is just nasty. It looks like cotton fields on my face, I swear. That is disgusting. Okay, let's talk about the nose, shall we? The nose is the area of the face that I struggle with the most when it comes to any types of problems on my face. First of all, the main issue I have with it is sun damage. My nose is like a fucking sundial on my face, okay? It's always showing the time of day. And usually I resolve that best by doing a lot of after sun care treatment on my nose while maxing the sun protection. However, because I didn't have any type of skincare besides sunscreen, obviously my nose started to look inflamed and I started to notice red spots and dark spots of which you can see here. If you look up close, you will see multiple red spots and some of those yellow darker spots starting to form. Those are sunspots. Not to mention the horrific size of my pores and all of the individual oil strands hanging out of each of them. That's fucking disgusting. I don't know about you, but that kind of makes me sick to my stomach. Look at those sebaceous filaments. Oh my god. That looks nasty. Ugh, everything in me just wants to exfoliate that nose so badly. I can't take it. It's too much tension. And now we get to the worst part of my face, my forehead. Right up until I looked at it close. And when you look at this picture close, it is absolutely disgusting. So you'll notice that my skin on the right of my forehead has like an a little bit of a pink tone underneath. There aren't as many pores on this side. And I understand that you're seeing a lot of pores in the middle, but that's not what grosses me out. If you notice, you see this kind of color shift in the center of my forehead, and it's this entire layer of dead skin. Are you vomiting yet? Honestly, if I look at it too long, I get a little nauseous because that's just how grossed out I am by it. That's all just layers and layers of SPF, oil, sebum, and dead skin just built up over the course of five days. So I'm gonna skip out of this picture because that's nasty. All right, so this mask has been on my face for 10 minutes. Luckily, I'm not noticing any itchiness or irritation. So I'm just gonna take this shit off and then I'm just gonna leave this on overnight. Oh my God, just saying that reminds me that I'm gonna be able to use my nighttime skincare tonight. <laughs> I'm so happy for that. You know how much I've been craving using my nighttime skincare? That is something I miss because my nighttime routine is my favorite skincare routine by far. Ooh, okay, my skin is feeling extra greasy but glowy and I am in love. It's hydration, darling. Well, if this video taught you anything, I hope first of all it taught you to not go five days without using your skincare routine, but also how much of a fucking liar I am and how I told you guys I was gonna go seven days, but I actually went five, so. 
Sorry, not sorry. My bitch ass just couldn't handle it. Well, that was quite a journey and I'm so glad you guys got to experience it with me. What did you think? Let me know in the comment section down below. I wanna have a conversation with you guys. Have you ever gone this long without using any skincare? Or if you are someone who hasn't yet gotten into skincare, bitch, you need to subscribe to my channel pronto. If you want to see someone talk about skincare in a very sassy way, then uh, you found the right channel. That's it guys. If you haven't subscribed to my channel already, please do so that you can see my videos every single week. Thank you guys so much for the support and I will see you in the next video. Mwah.